Hey folks, hello and welcome to another review by the Relaxed Mail. This time we're actually working closer to having a the camping angle. And so today I actually got by the Ultimate Survival Technologies, uh, UST, um, the Spark Force Mini Flint Fire Starter. And it's a really, it's actually a very easy, uh, compact, handy little device to have, especially if you're going out camping and you, for whatever reasons, forget your lighter, forget whatever. It actually does a good job of being able to start a fire. I've been playing with it for just a little over about an hour and a half. Um, and it does start a fire. I've gotten a couple of flames to fire up in my little test bucket. But um, the device, the, the it's just a it's very simple, uh, solid, bright orange. So you can see it if you end up dropping it on the ground. Um, it's going, to, it's easy to see with the uh, safety orange. Um, it is just, you got your flint, you got your striker, which is just apparently, I think it was just a reused piece of uh, metallic ruler is what they use because there's a kilometers on one side and zero to 10 on the other. Not exactly sure what that's about, but um, it uh, does what it needs to do. Um, the issue that I, that I did have run into one little issue with this, and at first I thought, oh crud, I broke it. But actually what it is is the flint itself can work itself out as you're trying to because you're not going to catch a flame the first time uh, it took a little bit of trial and error to actually get it to where i was able to get it to a flame fairly consistently and as a matter of fact as i was using it and trying to get it to to work um, my your hands are going to cramp <laughs> so um this is old style this is it's not meant to be you know it's not a it's not a, a blow torch or any or a lighter or even matches it's uh, a lot more primitive than that it's just it's spark throwing sparks and you got to get enough sparks in one area to get enough heat for the grass to catch on fire because that's what i was using i was just using just typical overgrown yard grass because um, I had a couple places where I just wasn't ever didn't uh, mow because I've got stuff in the way and, and it just it came in handy for for running this test so but anyhow um, I would definitely recommend having this uh, at least having it uh, already it's not something that you're going to want to have you're not going to need unless you're going out survival camping um, and that's just something that's most people not going to have to worry about uh 99 of the time if they're going out camping it's just you know you're going to have your your matches your lighter all the rest of the sorted items that you're going to need to be able to create a fire to create warmth to but if for whatever reason say you get caught in a down a deluge and everything is uh wet you've still got a a means to start a fire just it's not don't expect it to be uh something that you can just instantly catch a fire with it takes you a little bit of work um and uh, after an hour as you can see you're going to work a lot of that off it's it's actually really easy just what they tell you to do and it's a lot more pressure than what you think because they say put some downward pressure and run across and it doesn't do anything you've really got to get in there and just make some put some pressure on there and you will actually get some sparks so it's a good it definitely handy i'm going to keep it in my in my uh, camping uh gear box for those just in case moments so but anyhow this is uh the uh spark force mini fire starter from uh ultimate uh survival technologies and it runs you about five bucks uh, over at uh, over on amazon so if you'd like you can just click the link and that'll take you over to the review then at the review you can actually go off and buy it from there so anyhow that's all in the review i appreciate guys y'all take the time and uh, we'll catch y'all later bye all right figured i would go ahead and show you a little bit as to uh how the uh that works see if i can i'm gonna try to shadow it a bit so that uh sparks and things like that are a little easier to be seen so but anyhow what we do is you've just got i have found that when you're doing it get your, get the, the flint down in there so because 
takes a little bit to figure out. And there we go. And so, as you can see, it definitely gets gets a little bit of a makes a little little bit of smoke. I'm not sure if you're seeing it form or not. So, but. I think this is actually just a magnesium bar is all it is. Now, it seems to be that if you... Moving around a little bit. There it goes. A little bit of a fire. And that's honestly kind of all it takes is just a little bit of dedication, a little bit of push, and you can get it. So anyhow, thank you again.